<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! <clears throat> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the stream of Final Fantasy VII for the original PlayStation. Uh, we escaped from Midgar and the Shinra building. The president of the company is dead. Rufus apparently took over his son. And uh, we're in a town of calm. And right now, Cloud is telling his story of Sephiroth and them going to Nibelheim to, um, they gotta investigate the Mako reactor there, so, hmm. So let's go ahead and just see what else we can do. We, he said we can go ahead and explore, visit friends and family, so that's what I'm gonna do. You're so nervous? Well, how come? Look, you never know when a monster's gonna show up, right? Uh, he makes a damn good point. Okay. Can I not? Oh, right. I don't know what's happening there, so let's not do that. I heard Sephiroth was coming and got my camera ready. I want to shot Sephiroth and a monster. I don't know, man. You probably want to get back in the house. It's kind of dangerous. All right. So big-headed. Hey, this guy's a real... You... Are you Cloud? Really? So that's how it is, huh? The hell? Okay. Welcome. Hey, aren't you... What the hell's that? Have I come here before? I don't remember. Well, now you're pissing me off. This doesn't matter, so get on with it. Huh? No, that looked a little f important. Okay, so we can't just, we, period, we just can't go in there. I guess we gotta remember how that per person looked. I don't know, it might be important. This is my house. It has nothing to do with that incident five years ago. Yo, wait, I want to hear. Me too. It's been a long time, right? Tell us more. You saw your family, right? Mm. Now, it seems like, you know, no, seeing the type of character Cloud is, he would most likely say he doesn't want to talk about it, but even I'm intrigued. All right. I don't know if I can call it a family. My father died when I was still very young. That's why my mom was living alone in this house. Yeah, I saw my mom. Um. Oh, nature, I'm glad to see that everything's stable now. My mom, she was a vibrant woman. Hadn't changed at all. But a few days later, she died. But when I saw her, she looked fine. The hell? Uh. Now that would. Now we know where he gets his uh hair, his haircut from. Yes. Cloud. Mama, welcome home, Cloud. Hi, Mom. Come, come, let me take a look at you. Hmm. What does it mean to be vibrant? I always kind of characterize it as, like, being, like, um... Full of energy, and bright, and energetic. That's the way I looked at. That's the way I characterize, um... Being vibrant. I don't know. <laughs> oh crap, you know what? I forgot to put my timer on. You look so handsome. So, is this a soldier uniform? Mom, I... My, how you've, how you've grown. 
I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temp temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down and had a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have... I know the girlfriend. One day I'll take care of you. Well, hey, nothing's wrong with... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, nothing's wrong with... Having an older girlfriend whatsoever. But I don't think my... Uh, you know, our mother should be dictating that, you know? I think that would be a perfect type for you. Why don't you get yourself a cougar? It's like, alright, mom, that's enough. I'm not interested. Are you eating right? I'm alright. The company takes care of me. Is that so? You can't cook, right? I was worried sick about how you were doing. Cloud? You know Cloud. Isn't that right, Cloud? I'll always be your mother. Let's stop this. Alright, so... That's that. Cloud? Did you go into my house? Why lie? Yeah, I did. I thought you might be home. And I assume that she wasn't? It doesn't look like she was. But who... <laughs> Why is it always in RPGs that people leave their damn doors unlocked? Do you live in that nice of an area? Cloud? Did you go into my room? Yeah, I thought you were in there. <laughs> oh, I can't read her diary. Oh, the letter. Did you read it? My letter? Yeah. Do you remember what it said? Sure. I read it. It was a letter of Justin Tifa from the son of the guy that runs the general store. Tifa, how are you? I just arrived in Midgar eight days ago. Yesterday, all of N Nibelheim got together to welcome me. The only person that, w that we couldn't get a hold of was Cloud. But everyone said he wasn't really that close to us. So even if we asked, he probably wouldn't have come anyway. Well, enough about him. Midgar is really something. But to tell you the truth, I feel like so behind everything. So out of it. Even as ro the rooms of people in the slums are clean. Right now I'm living in the slums, but I plan to move, up, move to a really nice room. Like the ones I've seen in magazines. Once I make some money, that is. But to do that, I guess I have to find a job first. That's right. I still haven't found a job. I lied to my parents and told them I found a great job with Shinra. I wonder if it's too late to go back. Sometimes I wonder... Sometimes I think I should have just taken over my parents' store. I remember all of it. Because there was some stuff about me. I just made it to Midgar, but all I keep thinking about is Nibelheim. Hey Tifa, is that stupid old water tower still working? Is the old man at the inn doing well? Are my parents still at the shop every day? Have any monsters attacked? And most of all, how are you Tifa? It feels like I haven't seen you for years. We were all talking about you last night. Everyone likes you. But because everyone idolizes you, I couldn't very well stab them in the back. I always acted cool, but actually I was just afraid of being jilted. Wow. If I keep like this, this will, this will become a love letter. So, I think I'll stop here. Take care. I'll write again. P.S. Write me back, okay? Well, looks like the general store's owner's son had a little thing for Tifa. Not sure how she felt about him, though. I received orthopedic underwear! Cloud? <laughs> Just kidding, don't get mad. Cloud, we're talking about something really important here. Sorry, sorry, that was great, though.
did you play my piano? Oh, yeah, I jammed on it. Now, how did this go? It was start button to finish, start button to end. What? You guys enjoyed that? <laughs> uh, I don't know if this would be like a puzzle or something. Hold on really quick. Like, is there something supposed to do? Hey, that bottom part is stupid. It was start. Wait, it was. Oh. It was start button to finish, start button to end. What? Up, up. Down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Okay, whatever. So, uh, Joy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that was it for her room. And I honestly don't think there's anything else, so. All right. That was something. Cloud is a better pianist than Phoenix confirmed. Oh, I guess that's true, right? Now, whose place is this I just walk into? <laughs> like, hi, your door was open. I'm just gonna steal crap. Oh, you were Shinra? Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. It's you, Cloud. I didn't recognize you. B.S. Look at his hair. Not everyone will know who he is. Shinra? Shinra. Soldier? Salta? Are you going to kill the monsters? Are you going to? Alright. Do your best. Do your best. Uh, it's nice to have the support of the town with me. Ooh, ooh what's in here? There's a, there's a little baby treasure chest. I can't get over there, unfortunately. Oh, well. You found out that the piano is a puzzle to get Tifa's limit break? Oh, crap, really? How the hell am I supposed to figure that out then? Or is it something you do later? That's if we visit uh, Nibelheim in, in the present. Uh, well, is that everything? Because I couldn't go to the left. This this is the water tower that they were talking at, like where Tifa and Cloud were like, "Hey, you know what? When I grow up, I'm gonna be a soldier." Oh no, there, there's a, a little bit more going on here. I would assume that's the mayor's house. Oh, this mansion. No. I'll come here later. Okay. Hmm? You from Shinra? Well, that's right. Jeez. Big headed young kid. So if you don't choose to play the piano in the flashback, you get you get to read the music sheet to play it later. So what, did I screw up? Can I can I not get it now because I already played the piano? Oh, I can still do it. Okay. You think I can still do it. Alright. Up ahead is Mount Nibble. I keep saying Nibble. Is it Nibble or Nibble? Like Nibbleheim or Nibbleheim? I'll tell you about the time I went to, into the mountains. Okay, but not yet, I guess. Oh, 
All right, I guess that's it for the time being. Let's go ahead and just uh, go into the inn. Hmm. You sure not here to get rid of the monsters? And who are you? I'm Zangad. I travel around the world teaching children martial arts. I have 128 students all over the world. In this town, a girl named Tifa is my student. Did you say Tifa? Tifa has good sense. She'll be a powerful fighter. I want to see some Shinra techniques. If you, if you see anything you can use, you might want to incorporate some of my techniques. Well, good luck. Oh, I thought you were actually going to teach me something, but alright. The whole inn's booked up by Shinra for the night. Mm. Cloud? Eh. Hey, Master Roshi. <laughs> Is it you, Cloud? It must have been two years. Say, you really moved up in the world of being under Sephiroth's command. You actually know who sounds like that? Now that I think about it. Professor Casket in Mega Man Legends. He, like, he, he had, he, holy crap, wait a minute. Does Mike McFarlane freaking voice Professor Casket too? I gotta look that up. It, it sounds exactly like Master Roshi. Uh, Mega Man. Oh, Mega Man Legends is so much fun. What are you looking at? The scenery. I feel like I know this place. Hmm. We have an early start tomorrow. We should get some sleep soon. It's still early. Yeah, let's get some sleep. I've hired a guy to, into the Mako reactor. I've heard she's young. I hope we can rely on her. Watch it be Tifa. Didn't he let me take a picture? Just go for it, man. Once the guy gets here, we'll, we're heading out. Now listen to me, Sephiroth. In case something happens, trust me. I'll be all right, Dad. What is she wearing? A cowboy hat? Tifa. I have two men from Soldier with me. I'm Tifa. Nice to meet you. Tifa? You're the guide? That's right. I just happen to be the number one guide in this town. It's too dangerous. I can't involve you in something like this. Then there's no problem if you protect her. Let's go. Um... Mr. Sephiroth? Please let me take a one picture of, for a memento. Tifa, can you ask him for me, too? Cheese! Great, thank you! I'll give each of you a copy once I get it developed. I guess that was nice that he actually took a picture with them. A Mako reactor was, been to, was built into my Mount Nibble, or Nabel, I don't know how, to, how you say it anymore. The cold air of the mountains of Nabel, Nibble, it was no different. I know it sounds like I'm saying Nipple, I'm saying Nibble, but still. She really has a Western outfit going on. Say Fuzzy Pickles. You know, I still never get that. The whole thing that happened in Earthbound, the Fuzzy Pickles dude. I never trusted him one bit. It gets harder from here. Follow me. Oh, 
Oh, the bridge! Oh, no! Oh! I swear I could feel Sephiroth rolling his eyes. <laughs> Imagine how it's gonna be in the remake. Or actually, no, because it... If this is after Midgard, I would probably be part two. God, I love the Earthbound series. It's so awesome. I want to play that new one. Not a new Earthbound game, but like the one it was it was going to be a fan game of like Earthbound 4 or something like that, or, or Mother 4. And then they changed the title to like Oddity. It looks so good. Everyone seems to be all right. Can we get back to where we were? These caves are inter intertwined, just like an ant farm. Oh, and Sephiroth, there seems to be a one person missing. It may sound cold, but we've got no time to search for him. We can't go back now, so we must go on. We'll travel, we'll travel together from here. Alright, so I guess that guy's dead. Okay, I'm just gonna let you handle all the work, Sephiroth, if you don't mind. Bolt 3? Cool. Notice how we don't get any experience or anything like that. What's this? A mysteriously colored cave. Must be the Mako energy. This mountain is especially abundant in it. That's why the Mako reactor was built here. Oh. I thought it was like a wall blocking me or something. Green. I've seen a trailer for it, yes, Nature. Wait, but are you, what were you talking about? The Earthbound Ace Attorney crossover? No, that I didn't know. And what's this? A Mako fountain. It's a miracle of nature. It's so beautiful. I can't get over what the hell she's wearing. If the Mega Reactor continues to suck up the energy, this fountain will dry up too. I mean, it's Sephiroth. Did you expect him not to kick ass and take names? Hello, Svit, and welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Materia. When you condense Mako energy, Materia is produced. It's very rare to be able to see Materia in its natural state. By the way, why is it that when you use Materia, you can also use magic, too? You weren't soldier and you didn't even know that? The knowledge and wisdom of the ancients is held in the Materia. Anyone who with this knowledge can freely use the powers of the land and the planet. That knowledge interacts between ourselves and the planet calling up major, calling up magic. Or so they say. Magic. A mysterious power. Ha 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 What happened to Tifa? Did I say something funny? A man once told me never to use this unscientific term such as mysterious power. It shouldn't have been called magic. I still remember how angry he was. Who was that? Hojo Shinrink. An inexperienced man assigned to take over the work of a great scientist. He was a walking mass of complexes. A Mako fountain. So this is where the knowledge of the ancients is. Uh.
No, enjoy your lurk, Jaden. All right, I guess we finally arrive at the reactor. If I can get up there, there you go. We finally made it. We sure took the long way, though. Tifa, you wait here. I'm going inside, too. I want to see. Only authorized people are allowed in. This place is full of Shinro's industrial secrets. But... Take care of the lady. Man? You better take real good care of me then. What's going on? What, what am I doing with my life? She makes the thing a lot of heart. Oh my god. Oh, that's somebody that we're missing in the Ace Attorney series that we haven't seen in a while. Imagine her being remade for Ace Attorney. Oh my god. I'm already thinking... Can you just imagine the next Ace Attorney is going to have like Gumshoe and a lot of heart. Maybe Maggie. It'll be great. This is... Genova, right? The lock won't open. Wait, didn't you say... Wait, his mother's Genova, right? So, okay, like, like, what about Kay? Like, all the characters from the, the Investigation series, I would love for them to come back, but the problem is because the... I mean, I'm sure they can still do it, but I feel like they won't do it, the developers, because Investigations 2 was never released outside of Japan. We know of it because of the, the unofficial translation, but, like, characters like... Uh... Ray and Kay. We gotta remember, those are not their official names. Those are the names that, um, well, Kay, that's her official name. But, like, Ray, that's not his real name, but we call them Ray Shields. So, if anything, maybe characters from the first investigation game would come back. Mainly Kay. But will we ever see Ray? Probably not. But I'm still thinking that they will never bring Kay back, unfortunately. Man, this is the reason for the malfunction. This part's broken. Cloud, close the valve. You were right there, why didn't you close it? And they mentioned Genova, like, that's his m mom, right? Okay, I fixed it. Why did it break? Is he that short or is it those things that tall? She was in the uh, Spirit Justice DLC trailer. Now it's funny enough, I think they just used her regular sprite, yeah? They, they didn't remake her for that. No, Ray was not in the first Investigations game. He was in the second one. Now I see, Hojo. But even doing this will never put you on the same level as Professor Gast. There's a system that condenses and freezes the Mako energy. That is, when it's working correctly. Now, what does Mako energy become when it's fully condensed? Further condensed? Uh, oh, um... Oh, yeah! It becomes materia. Right. Normally. But Hojo put something else in there. Take a look. Oh, they use her HD sprites. Right. But, like, they didn't make her, like, 3D, like, in the, like the Dual Destinies for Spirit of Justice. 
I am trying to look through the window. There we go. What the hell? That was a demonic looking. What is this? Normal members of Soldier are humans that have, shower, that have been showered with Mako. You're different from the others, but still human. But what are they? They've been exposed to a high degree of Mako, far more than you. Is this some kind of monster? Exactly. And it's Hojo Shinra to produce these monsters. Mutated living organisms produced by Mako energy. That's what these monsters really are. Normal members of Soldier? You mean you're different? Hey, Sakharov! No. Was I? Oh, geez. Okay. Was I created this way too? Am I the same of all these monsters? Sephiroth. You saw it. All of them were humans. Human? No way. I've always felt since I was small that I was different from the others. Special in some way. But not like this. Holy crap, Hojo. So th that's what happens to uh, humans, or like any, I'm assuming any living being, when you expose them with too much Mako, is what we're getting here. Oh, I didn't quite understand what Sephiroth was saying at the time. I was even more surprised by the fact that Shinra was producing monsters. Damn, Shinra. The more I hear, the more I hate them. Who would have ever thought the Mako Reactor would have held a secret like that? That would seem to explain the increase in the number of monsters recently. I think we should listen carefully to Cloud. Don't you think so, Barrett? Why are you talking to me? Um... I mean, I kind of want... Wait. I'm confused here. Like, I feel like something big is going to happen um, <laughs> if I, say, take the rest and save the game, but does it matter? I mean, I kind of want to keep going. Um, nah, I think we'll just keep going. Hmm. Poking his damn nose and where he don't belong. Cloud, why don't you finish that story? Ooh. Tifa... You were waiting outside then? Yes. We returned to Nibelheim. Sephiroth confined himself at the inn. He didn't even want even want to try to talk to me. Then all of a sudden he just disappeared, right? We found him inside the biggest building in Nibelheim. The villagers used to call it Shinra Mansion. Long ago, people from Shinra used to live in that mansion. A lot to do here. Let's check out each room though. You know, I, I always told myself, like, if I ever, like, get become like a billionaire or something like that, I feel like I wouldn't get a mansion or a big 
house or anything like this because it would be too much, you know? And I, I probably would be, like, iffy about it. But it's like, no, I want something cozy, you know? But then again, <laughs> we'll see what happens if I actually make it like that, if I actually make that much money. But, um, I don't know. Everybody has their thing, you know. Oh, there's somebody right here. There's no sign of Sephiroth, but I know I saw him go into this room. Okay, hold on. That means that's probably the way to go. So let me, let me go back here. What if someone decides to support you for life and you end up with millions of money? You know, I wouldn't complain, Jaden. I mean, who, who's going to complain about getting free money, you know? Okay, so how did Sephiroth know this existed. I mean, yes, it's called a Shinra Mansion, so it's like you would think Shinra executives, I guess, know about it, but I don't know. Something seems fishy about all this. Holy crap, it's a huge freaking lab. Okay. An organism that was apparently dead was found in a 2,000-year-old geological stratum. Wait a minute. Uh, do, 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 do. But the only way to get the money is to create LPs and stuff? I mean... Okay. I wouldn't mind that, I guess. Live in a cheap home and low rent, and that'll mean your riches last longer. Now, I agree, Joy. If only that was kind of feasible in a lot of areas, because around here, not so much. This is Resident Evil. <laughs> Professor Gas named that organism Genova. X year, X month, X day. Genova confirmed to be an ancient. X year, X month, X day. Genova project approved. They used to make a reactor one approved for use. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, wait, who's calling? Don't know. So... He claim he says that his mother is Genova. So, what Sephiroth was he artificially created? Yeah, see, that's that's what I'm thinking here. My mother's name is Genova. Genova Project. Is this just a coincidence? Oh, because I think he thought, and I guess as a player, we thought that like, yeah, wait a minute, his his mother she was just named Genova. No, I think we're talking about Genova, that this weird experiment, apparently, from this organism from 2,000 years old. And he was made from that, so he's like some type of weird byproduct? Is that, that's kind of what I'm getting here? And if she's an ancient, doesn't that make him one? Which I think they mentioned, right? I, don't, I can't even remember anymore. Professor Gast. Why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you die? I don't think we should interrupt him at this moment, but... Hmm. Memories can be artificially created and implanted, by the way? You mean now? I thought that was, that was something that they were... That's still unachievable. Because if that's the case, the things about memories being artificial and created and implanted, that raises so many ethical and moral dilemmas. For God's sakes, that was one of the, the main things regarding um, To the Moon. Because 
uh, you're giving them like a last wish of a fake memory or something, you know? Doesn't even need doesn't even need tech for that. Just lie to them from a young age, gaslight the hell out of them. Okay, okay, that okay. I was thinking like li like literally, literally creating artificially creating and implanting a memory. But you're talking about straight up lying and gaslighting from a, from a very early age. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you can imp in implant a false memory, but or false information. Let me be alone. So I just leave? Sephiroth didn't come out of the, uh, didn't come out of Shinra Mansion. He continued to read it as if he was possessed by something. Not once did a light in the basement go out. I mean, how would you explain a Mandela effect? Vader never said, Luke, I'm your father. Pikachu never had the black mark on his tail. And Candy's car had six people in it, not four. Well, well, interesting you bring up the Mandela effect. I mean... We just talked about it in I. The big one being the Bearstein and Bearstein and Bearstein Bears or Berenstein, whatever. I swear I could have sworn it's always Bears Bearstein Bears, but Nope. <laughs> and yeah, the, the whole thing about Kennedy's car having six people in it, I didn't even know that. Um I, I like history, but I'm terrible at it still. Um, because I always thought, well, no, that makes sense of six people, now that I think about it. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, wasn't it like the governor, his wife, and then Kennedy and his wife? And it's like, well, what about the driver and, and the bodyguard? That's six. Logically, it makes sense, but you never think about the driver and the other person, you know? Uh, your brain can block some parts of memories because of traumatic events. Exactly. Correct. Isn't it true that beta blockers also do the same thing, if I'm not mistaken? That could be wrong. 95% 95 of your childhood is non-existent in my brain because of all my schooling was just constant bullying and crap. I'm so sorry, Joy. So, are we going to check on him again? I guess we can do that. You dead? Sephiroth seems different. Oh, he's sitting down. This music's kind of creepy. Sephiroth? Buddy? <laughs> You, you okay? Who is it? Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> All right, Golden Witch, you enjoy your dinner, buddy. <laughs> Traitor. Traitor? You ignorant traitor. I'll tell you. This planet originally belonged to the Citra. Citra was a... What? Itinerant race? Oh, why did I skip all that? I'm sorry. At the end of their harsh, hard journey, they would find their promised land of supreme happiness. But, those that disliked the journey appeared. Those who stopped their migrations built shelters and elected to lead an easier life. They took that which the Citra and the planet had made without giving back one wit in return. Those are your ancestors. Sephiroth. 
long ago disaster struck this planet. Your ancestors escaped. They survived because they hid. The planet was saved by sacrificing the Citra. After that, your ancestors continued to increase. Now all that's left of the Citra is, is in these reports. What does that have to do with you? Don't you get it? An ancient name, Genova, was found in a geological stratum about 2,000 years ago. The, the Genova Project. The Genova Project was wanted to produce people with the powers of the ancients. No. The Citra. I am the one that was produced. P produced? Yes. Professor Gast, leader of the Genova Project and genius scientist, produced me. How... How did he... Sephiroth? Out of my way. I'm going to see my mother. Oh, God. Oh, this theme. I mean, this is, I mean, think about it. It's huge shock for him. He just realized that he's not human, that he's some weird-ass byproduct of an ancient race. But he's definitely going mad, for sure. Calling us traitors because our ancestors, um, I guess, betrayed the Citra so we can survive. But what disaster was he talking about? That, that's what I'm a little confused about, too. Um, you know, I was only in there for not that long. What happened? My hometown is literally on fire. Hey, it's you! You're still sane, right? Well, come over here and help me. I'll check this house. You check that one over there. Holy crap, what, my mother. Mother! I can't... What, I can't get in there? Terrible. Sephiroth. This is too terrible. Alright, he's just killing everybody. Oh, and this is a very iconic image. Honestly, seeing this, once again, just makes me... I can't wait to see how a remake is going to handle it all. But once again, we're not going to be... We're not going to see this in the first part of remake. We have to wait until, um... Part 2, I'm assuming. <laughs> Unless they're just messing with us and they actually... The remake is the full game, but... That's not what they're saying. Papa? Sephiroth? Sephiroth did this to you, didn't he? Soldier, Sephiroth, Mega Reactor, Shinra, everything. I hate them all. Wait a minute, I remember this. Oh, wow, she took his sword. They showed that scene very quickly. Well, I think when we first met her or something, we were sleeping. So that explains it. The remake is coming out in April. Nature. It was supposed to come out next month. Um, 
but it got delayed a month, so now it's going to be out on April 10th. It is going to be just Midgar's Vinton. At least part one of the remake is going to be Midgar only. We have no... We have no ideas and no information regarding more of the game or more of the remake, but, um, yeah. Mother, I'm here to see you. Please open this door. How could you do that to Papa and all the townspeople? No! Oh my god, Tifa! How the hell she survived that? You promised. You promised that you'd come when I was in trouble. How are you still alive? Is that Roth, you bastard? Come back here. Speaking of remakes, Twitter wants Persona 3 remake? Hmm. I mean, I guess it would be interesting. Mother. Let's take this planet back together. I thought of a great idea. Let's go to the promised land. Sephiroth. My family. My own town. How could you do this to them? <laughs> They've come again, Mother. With her superior power, knowledge, and magic, Mother was destined to become the ruler of this planet. But they... Those worthless creatures... are stealing the planet from Mother. But now I'm here with you. So don't worry. Whoa, okay. So that's Genova. What about my sadness? My family, my friends. The sadness of having my hometown taken away from me? It's the same as yours! <laughs> my sadness. What do I have to be sad about? I am the chosen one. I have been chosen to be the leader of this planet. orders to take this planet back from you stupid people for the Citra. What am I supposed to be sad about? Sephiroth, I trusted you. No, you're not the Sephiroth I used to know. Are you really gonna try fighting him, Cloud? Okay, sorry, sorry, jeez, that was, ouch. Oh, that's it? You did not even finish the story? That's the end of my story. Wait, no, wait a damn minute, ain't there more? I don't remember. What happened to Sephiroth? 
Well, in terms of skill, I couldn't have killed him. Official record state Sephiroth is dead. I read it in the newspaper. Shinra Inc. owns the paper, so you can't rely on that information. I want to know the truth. I want to know what happened then. I, t I challenged Sephiroth and lived. Why didn't he kill me? And I'm alive too. It seems like a lot of this doesn't doesn't uh, a lot of this just doesn't make any sense. What about Genova? It was in the Shinra building, right? Shinra shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. So what happened to her head then? Unless Sephiroth did something to it. <sighs> Although why would he do that? I mean, it's his mother, right? Or cre like mother in a sense. Did someone else carry it out after that? It was missing from the Shinra building. Sephiroth? Damn! Don't none of this make sense. I'm going, 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 gone, and I'm leaving the thing to you. Yo, Cloud, let's get a move on. Um, do I want to right now? I mean, that was a lot that happened there. Um, jeez. I don't know. Well, wait a minute. According to this, um, I was, there's supposed to be other dialogue sections here. Um, hmm. Well, whatever. I guess I'll say right. Yo, come on, let's go. Oh, brother. Cloud? How bad was I when Sephiroth cut me? I thought you were a goner. I was really sad. It looks like it's on your end again, nature. I'm, I'm okay. I... The Ancients, Citra, Genova, Sephiroth, and myself. Let's go. Barrett's waiting. What a fascinating story. Yeah, we're talking about all that and talking dog thing. How did she uh, how did she survive? I don't know. The same thing like how did how did Cloud survive? Like what happened? There's no way that we took on Sephiroth head to head and won. So it's like why did he let us live? I'm assuming this is all stuff we're gonna learn as we continue playing. Cloud, take this. I received the PHS. Okay. Uh, changing party members. Access to menu select PHS. It can only be used on a world map or at a save point. <laughs> Excuse me. PHS will put us in constant contract contact with each other. Well, I'll be going. Hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. Um... So yeah, we can um, change our, uh, excuse me, we can change our party members, not any time, but as they mentioned, save point or world map. That's pretty cool. Well, like I said, I feel, I feel like the majority of how things are now, this is going to be my team. So, oh, you know what I should do? Because I'm going to forget, uh, put on these new weapons and whatnot. Okay. Let's see what else to do. Why did you keep her name as Aerith instead of Aerith? Uh, because that's what the game defaulted it to, Surge. I mean, I know people call her Aerith, and, and that is her real thing, but the game said Aerith, and I'm like, yeah, fine, we'll keep it like that. So, to me, it's not a big deal. 
other people may say differently, but people know Eris is er, Eris is Aerith. So that's that. So apparently, I'm gonna go back in here because apparently, uh, there's something we can get now that we can now they're up here. If you go over here. You know, there's an item right right there, right? Here's a dumb thing, apparently. You can't reach it. And it's like, okay, so it's like, what the hell do you do? You're, you are legit supposed to click on this five times, or examine it five times. Damn it! Until it kicks it, and now you get it. A whole, oh, it's a mega elixir, too. That, that's a... That is like god-tier item right there. Yep. Fully restores all members HP and MP. So, that, make sure we never use that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I, I hate when games do that. So much. Um, It's stupid. This <laughs> is the absolute least. That's really stupid. A lot of point and click games do that. That's why in, in, in RPGs, I talk to NPCs at least two times. For the most part. Because um, sometimes they'll you know, say something different. Sometimes they'll give you an item later. So. Anyway. So we are basically done with the um with the town of calm and I get the game doesn't tell you where you're supposed to go next but apparently if you take a look at the map you can easily see where you're supposed to go but here's the problem I have right here as you guys can see my map is cut off and that's because once again I'm running a, a modded version on a PlayStation class to get a high-res version of the game the high-res filter is what's messing up the um it's what's messing up the world map so let me see if i can fix that right now but let me save first before i do anything okay so if i do this and i guess if i go to the menu? Um, oh boy, maybe I should have messed with this. Oh look, there's OpenGL we were talking about earlier. <laughs> I don't know if I want to mess with any of these. What? I don't want any speed hacks. How do I switch off the filter? Um, hmm. No. I don't know. It might be something I have to do in the main menu before I even start the um the um the game. So that means like I probably won't be able to use the high res filter anymore, but frankly I don't know if you guys are gonna matter if it's gonna matter too much. Um but yeah. Anyway we'll I'll figure that out later. But what I wanna do is that if you go back here apparently you can get some more stuff. I did save Spitting. I did save already. Um, but hold on really quick. Oh, okay. What I'm doing here, apparently that, um... No, that's not the right one. I was talking to these people earlier when it was just me, myself, on the team. But if you talk to them... Um... Oh, crap, no. I missed it. 
there would have been something better for like a side quest if I waited to talk to them until after I had them back in my team. But oh well, it's okay. Okay, well, let's see here. All right, so I guess we gotta go to the place I need to. So yeah, I did save, so that's fine. You say you saw a filters option? Um, I clicked it. Nothing happened. It just kind of goes back. All right, hold on, hold on. That's odd. It might be doing it, but then it doesn't... Guys, I am clicking toggle filter, but no nothing's happening. Even even when I was on the, um, the main menu. Or when I was in the the world map, nothing happened. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I have to. I'm gonna have to exit. Save, and then go to. Um, There. Let's see if that worked. There. So yeah, the, the high res filter is what's messing it up. Ah, it just doesn't look that good. Or can, can you guys really tell a difference? I, I like I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even paying attention here, but yep, yep. How do you use like any of the things? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got it. Sure. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can tell the difference a little bit, but honestly, I guess it's not too much of a um, of a thing to be like, ah, oh, you know, it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. I guess for for just the sake of um, not running into issues, we'll turn off the filter. So. So yeah, well, apparently we have to travel. Oh, so that ma that makes it easier too because there's Midgar, and you see like all the dots. Obviously, that's where um, those are the places you can go. The only place you can go to there's a place heading north, uh, heading east or southeast. Um, that's where we need to go to. So we'll make our way over there. And maybe when, maybe when we get over there, what? Why did you punch? Did I miss something there? Why the hell did he punch? Why aren't you shooting? I guess that's what Cannonball is, huh? That seems kind of stupid. Um, 
let me, uh... The clouds aren't even hitting him, why is that? Okay, I, I gotta check my armor again and everything, because I'm confused. Okay, now what the fudge is going on? Maybe that's why. Okay. Um. Is there a way to sort my material so it's not like a. It's not just everywhere? Fire and lightning. Here, if I do... Yeah, there we go. So using this... Wait, that's all. No. So now I have elemental poison armor, so I will be taking half damage from poison. I know right now it doesn't make any sense because I already have the star pendant, but that's if I change a lot later. Okay, now, freaking Barrett. I don't know. It, it kind of sucks, the cannonball. Then again, oh, you know why it sucks? Because it is no longer a long-range weapon. Now he's going to be better. I assume, anyway. We'll get into another fight and see what happens. I didn't realize I needed to heal a little bit. There you go. It's a lot better now that he's up front. But I feel like what I should do is maybe not have him... I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I'm can't. i not sure if I want him up front or not. And I just get or put him back row and give him a weaker gun. Oh, well. For HD, we can wait for the remake. For now, let's enjoy the full map. Yeah, I mean, this is like the vanilla uh, game now. Like, you guys are getting full-blown how it looked like. So, all right, we'll go with this. How are you guys? Alpha Dunks! That kind of hurt. Ooh, good job, Cloud.
come on, Barry, you're so damn close. You know what? Screw it. One more battle. One more battle before I go into this town. Or what is that? Is it even a, is it even a whole town? The hell are you guys? Corn? Mandragora? Mandragora. They're pretty weak, so that's good. I'm assuming they're casting slow on me. I don't know why the hell they're going after Tifa, those bastards. I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I've heard that before, the Mandragora. Do they scream? Is it from Harry Potter? Is that what I'm, is that what I'm thinking of? I was like, I know I heard the term before. Chocobos! I don't know what you're saying, Wark. Chocobos. This is going on for a lot longer than I thought. What? Excuse me? I got the Choco Mog materia. Huh? Oh no, I'm sad. Oh fudge, what does that do again? Oh man, I forgot what that does. I, I don't have anything to cure it, do I? I didn't buy anything to cure it. No, Tranquilizer does, um, Fury. Oh, no. Well, I'm gonna be stuck with that for a little while. Now, wait, hold on, what the fudge is the Choco Mog, whatever, uh, this? Oh, wow. I- it summons. It's a freaking summon. How much- well, wait a minute, how much MP does it use? Oh, 14, it's not terrible. It attacks all opponents, sometimes causes stop. Hmm. See, the problem is... <sighs> Here's the thing. In almost all Final Fantasies, like, they have forms of summons. But, honestly... I feel like I never really truly used summons to for the hell of it. You know, it's like they're nice to have, whatever, but I don't know. I feel maybe because for the time being, I have nothing really better to put on. I guess it's fine to have this. But if I get, like, a better material, then it's probably gonna go away. You're right. Final Fantasy 1 did not have summons. I, I, I didn't mean all Final Fantasies. Most of them. There are forms of summons. 
Like either either it be like a thing where you equip or you have to use a certain character to summon things like that. Um But I'm not really sure what to do with this whole Choco Mog materia. I maybe I'll use it for a little bit, but if I find anything better, I I, I could just frankly say screw it and don't use it. So Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Joy. Or to get to summon job, yep. Sadness can, just causes the character to take 30% less damage from physical and magical, but also have the rate of limit gauge fills. It halves it. Oh. So, yeah, I, I noticed that too when you take a look at his limit gauge. It is blue. So... And he's close to getting another limit level, but it is blue, so... Hold on a minute. Hmm. Alright, never mind. Oh, Alright, well, there's that. So, what, what else do we got going on here? Eh, Choco Bill. That's a great name. Thinking of crossing the marshes? Maybe? Uh, am I supposed to? Sure. Mm, that'll probably be safer for you to get a Chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with the Chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar's Olum. The who? Wait, Midgar's Olum? There's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. Picks up on footsteps and enters the marshes. And then BAM! It attacks! To avoid that, buy Chocobo at the Choco Bill and Choco Billy Chocobo Farm. To purchase a Chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in the Chocobo stables at the far right of the farm. Oh. This Midgar Zolum, or Zolum, whatever you want to say. I assume it's like pretty bad if, we, if I decide to fight him right now. But it makes it seem like I will be strong enough eventually to take him on, yeah? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I guess... I guess for right now, right now, it's best not to, um... Oh, wait. Look for a need? Well, yeah, how much is it? 100 gil? Nah, I'm in a hurry. Well, then I get... Actually, no, I need to cure my sadness, don't I? I'll come back later. But yeah, maybe when I'm really strong down the road, I'll come back here and, um... Maybe take care of the Midgar Zalem. Wait, crap, how do I get to... Hold on. Is it on the right? Yep, there we go. Now talk to his grandson. Do you want Chocobo? Well, how much is it? Give me one. You old folks are on luck. Old folks? We're all a lot of Chocobos. I'm, ta I'm taking care of those ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want Chocobo, you should go out and catch one. You want to know how to catch a Chocobo? Uh, yeah, if I need to continue through the game, where are they? You see them claw prints out there? Wild Chocobos will appear in those areas. But, if you don't have no Chocobo lure, you, they won't come out. They're very cautious of uh, animals by nature. Well, do you have lure? Chocobo lore is a type of materia which attracts chocobos. If you equip this, then they'll come to you. But without it, they won't appear. So... Wait. Anything else, then? Whatever you do, don't make chocobos angry. They're usually calm, but if you get them angry, they'll get you'll get hurt. But remember, once you get off a chocobo, it'll escape. So 
was a temporary thing. Hmm. Right, I, I, I know that the, those items exist. Nature, I just didn't buy any, unfortunately, when I, um... When I was in town. I don't know why I didn't, honestly. Well then, shall, shall we get down to business? To defeat the hunt? Whoa, seriously? Seriously? Two thousand gil? Am I? Am I? Am I supposed to spend that much right now? I wouldn't have an issue with it, but like there is, I feel like gil's kind of scarce so far. Ah, uh, I guess I don't have a choice now, do I? All right, I'll buy it. It wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either. Oh, and how fast the chocobo will finish eating depends on what type of greens you feed them. Okay, so I... I didn't even know there was this many. I've heard of Gashal greens. Of course, they're cheapest. <laughs> um, but wait a minute, like what? They didn't even tell me what they do. There's got to be a difference between all these. Actually, no. I'm looking up on the guide. Screw that. So, Gashal Greens will keep a Chocobo occupied for two turns in battle. Croca Greens reduces Chocobo's chances of running away in battle to 33.3% each turn. Tantal Greens will keep a Chocobo occupied for three turns instead of two. Uh, Pashana Greens will reduce the Chocobo's chance of running away to 20% each turn. Curial Greens will keep a Chocobo occupied for 5 turns. And then a Mimet Green, which is obviously the most expensive, it keeps the Chocobo occupied for 1 turn, and it allows the Chocobo to use Choco... Chocobo Buckle. I don't even know what the hell that is. I, I, you have to move, but I guess it's not really worth it. Hmm. But apparently, they say the best greens to have are more than likely um, these, the curial greens. Ah. Oh. Well, damn. I guess I don't really have a choice choice now, do I? Well, mm, it's just a lot of damn money. Which one was it again that does three turns? Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll do the Tantal Greens. Because even... Wouldn't that be easier by... Yeah. Because these are five turns. This is three turns. Why don't I buy two of Tantal Greens? Right? Or am I just not thinking about this correctly? You know what? F it. You know, there's that. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, I'll stay in. Hmm. Alright, did that... Okay, yeah, that cured the sadness, so that's good. Okay. Now you see those footprints right there? Those are where we can catch the chocobo. Um... Now... Oh crap, we need to get the lore out. Let me let me go ahead and catch the chocobo and then we'll go ahead and call it. Uh, we'll take a break and then we'll come back. So first off, I guess we'll do that. 
So wait a minute, do, do I just have to run around here and then eventually it'll come out? Yeah, wait, how, how does it come out? Hopefully I'm doing this right. Now, those don't look like chocobos, but... Close enough. Tantal likely come to work tantalize, which in turn is derived from an ancient Greek mythological, mythological figure, Tantalus, who for some crime or another was doomed to forever tread water in a pool of food that was barely out of reach. This has been random facts for Joyful. That sucks. <laughs> like, I, you know what? That sounds like something. Um, have you guys ever read the short story? Uh, I have no mouth and I must scream. If you guys haven't, I highly recommend it. It's a it's a pretty damn good short story. Um, so it's actually also a really awesome point and click game. Came out like what, 94, 95? Really good. Really messed up story, but really good. Um, like. That, that, that sounds like some form of torture that the that the antagonist would do. Like, have the food or water just out of reach. Like, it's, it's just there, but just out of reach. Chocobo! Wait, so do I use an item now? Calm down. Calm down. No. Okay. Ha. Oh. Something tells me that's what I need to do. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to use the item. Why am I missing for God's sakes? I am supposed to use the item. And then uh to get rid of the enemies. Actually, I, I don't want to use my limit shot. I'm, I want to keep that for when I get back a chocobo so I can get rid of them quickly enough. I did ask him how to catch it. Okay, let's try that again. I just gotta be quick on the draw there. I did, nature. Alright. Give him the green so he stays there. And now I gotta get rid of this guy very quickly. I caught it. There we go. Mind blow gained. Ooh. 
I got a chocobo. So how to ride chocobo? I had to press the cancel button to get off. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, chocobos will escape whenever a player dismounts. Cool. Wait, do I do I get in fights when I'm in a chocobo? When I'm on chocobo? I assume that's the Midgar Zolum right there. I don't want to fight you. You know what I should do? What? Oh, I can't save. I can't get in the menu right now. Okay. Well, we're not going to have the Chocobo for too long, so... Because it seems like this is the only place we can go right now, yeah? Now, once again, the Midgar Zolum? That might be something that we can try... Attacking, I don't know, once again, when we're super strong. Not now, though. Holy crap. Holy crap. Did Sephiroth do this? Isn't that a Midgar Zolum? If Sephiroth did that, I'm screwed. <laughs> well, um. Oh, great. Now I have Fury. Ugh. <laughs> I, wait, I, I can cure Fury. Um. Uh, screw it. Anyway, um. Yeah, we don't need. I guess we don't need the lore anymore. But besides that, oh crap! Why I can't save? Um, hold on, really quick. Actually, no, they're right there. No, it's fine. I I'm gonna keep playing anyway. But let me go ahead and just take a break. And when we come back, we'll continue uh, going through this area. I don't even know what the hell it is, where we're at. Um, yeah, we'll just take things from there. So see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> 